This is a repair of a Sharp 55-inch TV. It's a 55N7004U. And when you uh, plug it in, it doesn't turn on, but it still has sound. The first thing that you want to do is take off the back cover and then have a look at the electronics. At the very top of the electronic board, you'll see a little cable of two wires. This goes to the LED backlights. And I'm using an LED backlight tester and just seeing if there's any lights that shine. And you can see the voltage is not changing. Therefore, we know that this is a backlight issue. First, remove the power cable to the board. And then we will be disassembling some of the circuits down below. Disconnect your speaker. And then remove your speakers on both sides. And there's this metal little bracket as well that holds the legs of the TV. Remove this bracket on the left and right hand side. Then remove the two ribbon cables that go to the LCD screen by pulling the black tab up and then lifting the ribbon cable out. There's also this plastic power button that we need to remove. To remove it, you can use some tweezers to get behind it and there's this two little clips at the back that you need to push out and it will be able to remove. Then there's a little bit of tape that goes to the circuitry to the LCD screen. So remove the little tape on the right and left hand side. And then there's this plastic clip that holds that that you can slide out. You want to be very careful because the ribbon cables there are very fragile and it should be able to move freely as like this. Do the same on the right hand side, making sure that it can move freely. After it can remove freely, we can now flip the TV over so that we can remove the screen so that we can look at the uh, backlights. With it removed, uh, with the TV flipped over, remove the front screws, there's about six, and then go around the outside. There's a little clips that you just pull up with your fingers and going around the outside, remove the little plastic bezel that goes around the screen. With the bezel removed, now we can use some suction cups to remove the, the screen. But first, flip those electronic, flip the front panel circuitry and tape it to the LCD screen. Using some suction cups, we can now remove the screen, put it on a flat surface so that it will not be damaged. I'm just using a bedcloth or, or sheets. And then there's this little rubber thing that goes around the TV that you can remove. Just going around the outside and lifting up the plastic sheets, you want to tape them together. I'm just using electrical tape. Removing the filter sheets off and then putting them to the side. Now we can remove the white paper that is that's underneath the screen. So I'm removing the white paper and when I move it up a little bit, I can use my LED testers to test to see it what LEDs are working and which ones are not. This the bottom strip is okay. The top strip is working okay. This one is also working, but there is one strip right here that is not working. I'm connecting it, but the lights are not going on. So I open it up more to have a look at it. And I notice that I can connect it to the end and the strips are working. So this is very odd. It's the first time I saw this type of issue. On close examination, I actually found out the source of the issue. It was the actual strip. The board had a crack in it. You can see the crack there and at the bottom. So it must have got too hot and expanded, which made a break in the strip. So we can replace that. I'm just using I, I'm just using a razor blade to scrape the backlight so that we can, can make this contact uh, fixed. Doing the top and bottom. Doing the top and bottom, I'm just scraping the top and bottom, putting some flux, and then we can put some solder to get this joint back in in working condition. So I'm putting some solder. Now the issue with this putting solder is 
this will flex again and break. So the idea to fix this joint is to fix this, we can, I'm using a resistor and I'm using that as some wire. So that will make sure that if it flexes, it will not just break the solder because it will actually have a wire there. So I'm just using a resistor as the wire on the top and bottom and then just snipping that off and that will ensure a good connection on the top and bottom of this. Clean it up, cleaning it up and later I will be putting some super glue underneath this so that it will not flex again and make uh, break that contact. So I'm putting some super glue and pushing it down using uh, some hot air to dry the super glue so that it's uh, not going to move again. And this tapping it to make sure that it doesn't come up and you can see that's a good contact there. Now all I have to do is retest. You can see the strips are all working. All the lights are coming on so I know all the LEDs are okay. And uh, I'll just have to reassemble this TV and it should be good. Just a, a note that all those LEDs are three volts. So if you do need to replace a light, you can get a one watt, three volt power LEDs online. Just reassemble everything the same way that we took it apart. And you can see the Sharp came, uh, logo came on and it's working. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe.